Assalamualaikum. Today, I will explain about support and resistance. Support and resistance is the next major element of technical analysis after trend lines. Support and resistance is important for investors because support and resistance can help us to determine the buy and sell price. Second, it can help us to determine the stop loss area. Last but not least, support and resistance can help us to identify the target area or the profit taking area. Okay, now let us look how we want to identify the support and resistance. Okay, support and resistance represent key junction where the forces of supply and demand meet. Okay, as we know, if there is excessive supply or many supply compared to demand, it will cause the market or the price to be bearish. The other way around, if there are more demand compared to supply, it will cause the market or price to be bullish. Okay, so in uptrend, if you remember, we draw the uptrend line. So this uptrend line will react as a support line. Okay, while a downtrend line will act as a resistance line. So how do we relate these two with the support and resistance? Okay, I will show you in the next slide. Okay, first we will have a look on a support line. Okay, support line is the price level at which demand is thought to be strong enough to prevent the price from declining further. Okay, so that's why the support line will be draw below the current price. Okay, at this situation, as the price decline towards support and get cheaper, it tells us that buyer become more inclined, inclined to buy, seller become less inclined to sell, and by the time price reach the support level, it is believed that the demand will overcome supply and prevent the price from falling above. Okay. However, if at this support area, if the demand is less than the supply, then this support area or support line will be violated. Okay, now we look into this example. Okay, where the support line is established or where we can draw the support line. Okay, as we can see, the support line or the support level should be below the current price. We are connecting a few price that lower than the current price level. Okay, let's look into this chart. Okay, so this is the current price. We will find or we will identify the lowest point during this area okay, or at this area and we will try to connect this lowest point and this lowest point will act as a support line. Okay, as I mentioned before, support does not always hold. Okay, any break below support signal that the bear have won out over the bull and it indicate the new willingness to sell or lack of incentive to buy. Okay, so for example, here, at first we identify point A as the support level. However, when the price break or keep going down below this level, so we call it this support line has been violated. Okay. So once support is broken, another support level will have to be established at a lower level. Okay, next, we will look into resistance line. So resistance line is the price level at which selling is thought to be strong enough to prevent the price from rising further. Okay, so this resistance line or at this point, seller become more inclined to sell and buyer become less inclined to buy. By the time the price reach this resistance level, it is believed that the supply will overcome demand and prevent demand from rising above. Okay, 
So if the support line is draw below the current price, the resistance line is draw above the current price. We will try to find out the previous high to identify the resistance level or resistance point. Okay, now let's look where the resistance line is established. Okay, remember, resistance line is always above the current price. We will connecting a few similar previous price that higher than the price current price level. Okay, let's look into this example. So currently, this is the current price. At this point, this is the current price. So to identify the resistance line, we need to find the previous high price before the current price. So if we can see here, so this, at this point, okay, is this is the highest price uh, before the current price. So we can identify this level or this area as resistance line or resistance point. Okay. If you can see, I highlight this resistance line as resistance 1. Okay, now I draw another resistance line. We call I call it as resistance 2. So how I identify the res resistance 2 line? So again, I will look into the previous high before the resistance 1 point. Okay, from this chart, we easily can identify this is the highest price before this point. So that's why I draw the second resistance line at this point. Why I identify more than one resistance point? It is because I want to set a target price for this stop. Okay, if you remember, one of the function of support and resistance line is to determine the target price area. Let us assume when the price break this resistance one, so this point at that point we can start buying. Or when the price break the resistance, okay, it give a signal to investor that they can enter into the market. So once the investor buy the stock, so definitely they need to identify where is the target price or target area for profit taking. So that's why resistance 2 is really important. Okay. If the price break the resistance 2, then we need to identify the next resistance point by looking into the previous higher price. Okay. If the resistance line been violated means that the price break above the resistance line. So this resistance line will turn to support line. Okay, when resistance turn to support line, support also can turn into resistance line. This situation we call it as role of reversal. Okay, first let us discuss about when support turning into resistance. Okay. When support turning into resistance, once the price break below a support level, so the broken support level can turn into resistance line. Okay. Then, the break of support signal that the force of supply have overcome the forces of demand. Okay. While for a resistance turning into a support, it happened when the price break above the resistance level, then the previous resistance it will turn into a support line. Okay, and this situation it signals that the forces of demand have overcome the forces of supply. Okay, this picture tells us about the role of reversal between support and resistant okay so point a first we assume that point a is the support line okay then when the price going down further or break this line so point a will be a resistant line 
and then we will create a new support line. Then, when the price break the point B line, we need to create another support line. Okay, so at this point, point B will become a new resistance line for this price. Okay, so once the price break above this uh, this uh, resistance line, then this resistance line will turn again to the support line. Okay, so this is another example showing about the uh, role of result between support and resistance. Okay, first we draw, uh, we look into this example. Um, this is the resistance line. Okay, so when the price uh, fail to break the resistance line, the price will going down. And if the price break this uh, support line, so uh, it become the resistance line. Okay, so you can see here. Okay, at this area, this is resistance. This is the old support. So once the price break the support, it become the new resistance line and we identify the new support line. Once the price break this support line, it become the resistance line. Okay, I hope you can understand uh, about this rule of reversal between support and resistance. Okay, next, I'm going to explain about how we want to use support and resistance to determine the buy and selling point. Okay. Now we look into this example. Okay, this is the resistance line and this is the support line. Okay, remember, we always buy above the support line and sell below the resistance line. Okay, how are we going to explain this? Okay, so you see, if you see that during this trading range, the price keep on going up and going down. So we say that we can buy above this support. Why? Because we know that okay, when the price bounce or testing the support line and it bounce back upward, so it shows that the demand is more stronger than the supply. So therefore, we can buy at this point. The other way around, after the price has going up and testing the resistance line, if the price break the resistance line, then we can hold the stop. However, if the price bounce at the resistance line okay, and turning back, okay, or meaning that it decreased, or try or started to make a pullback, so we should sell at this point. Therefore, remember, we always buy above the support line and sell below the resistance line. Okay, another scenario is if you not enter into the market yet, so when we're going to buy, okay, so... First, you can buy when the price bounce back above the support line. Second, you also can buy if the price just break the resistance line. Okay, means that you can also buy when price break the resistance line. Remember, when the price break the resistance line, this resistance line will turn to support okay okay i hope every one of you can understand better about support and resistance okay with that i end my presentation and see you again in my next video assalamualaikum